Hey everybody, I wanted to do a little review of something I've added to my shop recently, which has made a, an incredible difference. Um, over in the corner, I've always had my dust collector, one and a half horse uh, Seal City collector, and I use that, switch the four inch hose around from machine to machine. One of the problems I've had though in a small shop, all of my machines are on wheels, but you know, getting a hose to them, for instance, my, uh, my drill press is all the way over in the far corner of the shop, the opposite corner of the shop from my dust collector. And I don't have a hose long enough while I could splice a hose to it. You're losing um, suction, you know, when you get over a longer carry distance like that. So oftentimes when I use my bandsaw, um, if it's going to be a substantial amount of use like resawing, um, I will wheel the, the saw over here to the middle of the shop. And then I have to position it in such a way so that I'm not putting a serious kink in the hose to it. Um, more often than not, if it's just one quick cut, I won't move the saw and I'll just cut without dust collection, which, you know, I'll put on a respirator and I'll, I'll protect myself and everything, but it makes a big mess. Um, I also have had for years a shop vac. And shop vac is just something that I'll wheel around and use it for cleaning up the floor. Um, I use it on smaller machines like a spindle sander or a dust collection on my pocket hole jig. Um, I've used it on dust collection on my um, chop saw, which is right behind the camera. And, you know, more often than not, that has worked just fine, um, but it's it's on the ground. It's constantly, I've got to wheel it around and there's a cord trailing behind it, constantly tripping over it. Plus, it just takes up more floor space. So I began looking into alternate solutions. So I went out and got this wall-mounted um, three-quarter horse dust unit and um, the idea is that it can be mounted to the wall, it can be moved around, this handle on the front allows you to lift it up, move it around the shop wherever you want, but really the big addition has been this dust right hose. This is that um, collapsible hose that shrinks down and you can stretch it out quite a distance. This is the, uh, I believe it's the 40 foot hose um, that expands all the way to 40 feet. My shop is, or maybe it's 30 feet, I'll have to check that, but my shop is 26 feet long from end to end. I positioned the collector right here in the middle. By the way, I did get the upgraded uh, one micron bag. Uh, it comes with a 20 micron bag, I think. I spent the extra money and got the, um, the finer micron bag just for my own protection. And this hose stretching the way it is means I can move all over my shop from end to end on this one single hose. Uh, I got the uh, floor attachment to go with it and it just fits on nice and snug. Um, very ergonomically designed this handle here makes it really easy to pick things up. The one knock that uh, if you go to Rockler's site and you read their reviews, um, the one knock that on it is that it doesn't suck up shavings. If you're a hand tool woodworker at all, it struggles with sucking up shavings. The floor attachment, as you might be able to see, has a grid on the bottom here. There's also a grid on the intake valve that can catch uh, those plain shavings. And no doubt, uh, if I try to clean up the floor after I've done a lot of hand planing, it will very quickly clog up uh, and I have to clean that out. That's never really been an issue for me though because I have the regular dust collector and generally if I've got a lot of shavings, first of all, if I have a whole bunch of shavings, I usually sweep them off my bench directly into the trash. I just dump them out. Um, shavings, because they're light and fluffy, they'll fill up a dust collector bag very, very quickly. Um, so I just usually dump them in the trash. But if I've got some, you know, random shavings on the floor or whatever, I usually will clean that up with my traditional uh, dust collector. This works really, really well for the chips and just the gunk that gets on the floor. Also, I can take it, and because it reaches anywhere, I can stretch it over all the way over to my bandsaw and not have to move the device, not to move the machine at all, which is really, really helpful. Um, I've gotten several, yep, gotten several reducers. I'll show you on my pocket hole jig here. This is a reducer from, a, what is it, four down to two and a half inches. And I've actually got even further reduced to fit on the dust collector for my uh, pocket hole jig. This fits directly into the handle like this, and I get dust collection. 
I've got the same type of reducer put on my spindle sander, and I've got another reducer put on the two and a half inch hose onto my chop saw. So basically all the things that I used my shop back for before, the smaller machines, cleaning up the shop floor, things like that, I can do it now with this device. Um, I also got this brush, which is really helpful for cleaning up my uh, table saw. In fact, it needs to be cleaned. It's not real loud either. Being that it's only a three-quarter horse, it doesn't make a huge amount of noise. It takes up very little room. It's stuck right back up here against the wall, whereas before my shop vac would get squeezed into this hole, but it had to roll around and things like that. Now it stays in one place. The cord is running down the back into the outlet over there, and I'm not tripping over it. It's fantastic what it's done for my shop um, just in the month and a half or so I've had it. So figured it could be used as well as a sole dust collector too. Um, it would work just fine on, um, on machines. The three quarter horse will do a very decent job in a small shop. So it could be a sole solution. The one thing I will tell you is the grid on the intake and the grid on the floor wand will not handle shavings real well. So keep that in mind when you're looking for a solution for your shop. So that's my review. Good job, guys, over at Rockler. Did a great job with this one.